I don't know about you gamers, but I'm feeling <laughs> pretty good to today. Taylor Swift, she's sweeping the nation. She's taking the world by storm, even infiltrating my own household. Taylor Swift has been um, a crazy huge star for a very long time, but I feel like this year in particular, because she went on tour, she is just like, pretty much without a doubt, the most famous person on the planet and the most like talked about slash sought after person, I guess you could say. Even the NFL recently, because she started dating or is friends with. Uh, but even the NFL are like changing their banners and stuff. She's talked about everywhere, okay? And so today, I thought that I would take some Taylor Swift quizzes to see where my knowledge is. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit afraid to make this video right now. So hopefully I will reach the part of Taylor's fan base that is, um, just wants to sit back and have a good time. Hey, how's it going? I'm just gonna take some quizzes. Relax. Before we continue into this video though, much like Taylor Swift, I went on tour last year, a little over a year ago, and also much like Taylor Swift made a tour documentary. And much like Taylor Swift, have something coming out on October 27th and October 26th if you're in the LA area. I'm premiering said documentary on October 26th in LA for a red carpet premiere, in-person red carpet. It's gonna be very, very fun. And digitally online for the rest of the world, October 27th. So you can go to I have to do this dot show. Taylor would want you to get tickets. Taylor, tell him. Thank you so much, Taylor. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get into the video. Big shout out to my mod Bella, big ol' Swifty. I asked them to compile a list of quizzes for me to show off my Taylor Swift knowledge. Also, I guess I didn't say this. I am not a Taylor Swift fan. Hold on a second. I'm not a Taylor Swift hater. I don't really listen to Taylor's music. I think that the tour that she just did was insane. I also have a lot of respect for Taylor Swift for, you know, her tour was super, super successful and then giving a bunch of money, uh, a bunch of extra money to her crew. I think that's really cool. But yeah, I wouldn't say I'm a Taylor Swift fan. I have not listened to any of her albums fully. Obviously, I've heard her songs before. That would be impossible to not. Anyway, here we go. You think you can tell a Taylor Swift quote apart from a Shakespeare one? No. I'd meet you where the spirit meets the bones in a faith forgotten land. I'm gonna say Will. Fuck. I do believe her, though I know she lies. Shake. Let me wipe it first. It smells of mortality. <laughs> This has to be Shakespeare. It can't be Taylor Swift. It can't be. I want it to be though. It's Shakespeare, right? Okay. Is love a tender thing? Is it too rough? Too rude? That's Taylor. Fuck. Is it romantic how all my elegies eulogize me? Is it romantic? I don't know what elegies is. I think it's Shakespeare. Fuck. Who coaxed you into paradise and left you there? Taylor. Gotta be from Coney Island. I knew that. My personal favorite song. Did the twin flame bruise pain you? Blue? Did the did the twin flame bruise pain you blue? I think that's Taylor Swift because I think that Taylor Swift has talked about twin flames before. Yes. <laughs> it's from all too well the ten minute version Taylor's version from the vault. Fuck yeah. Through the chameleon love can though the chameleon love. Though the chameleon love can feed on the air? What? I want auras and sad prose, Taylor. And I'll stay forgetting any other home, but this. Fuck! You are a wicked villain despite of all the grace. Is this from... Mm, hold on, what's the song? What's the Taylor Swift song? You're a wicked... You're wicked... <laughs> hold on, what the fuck is that song? It goes... It's like... You're... Bad... <laughs> You're a wicked villain. You're bad news. Hold on, we're getting there. You're not good. You're. I knew you <laughs> were trouble when you. <laughs> Shit. That wasn't even it. And the old widow goes to the stone every day, but I don't. I just sit here and wait, grieving for the living. London boy. That was Taylor Swift. I wounded the good and I trusted the wicked. Taylor, this is a state of grace. Taylor from State of Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that makes me laugh. The Chronicle of Wasted Time. 
Shakespeare. When I was at home, I was in a better place. Taylor Allison Swift. Shit. All we are is skin and bone. Taylor. Time. Mystical time. Fuck. Falling feels like flying till the bone crush. It's gotta be Taylor. He doesn't say till. Brought forth an incandescent glow, tarnished but so grand. Shakespeare. Shit. True love never did run smooth. Taylor. The hope is treacherous. This is Taylor from Treacherous. Is it? Yeah! 13 out of 23. You scored 24% better than all quiz takers. Pretty impressive. You're clearly a Taylor Swift stan or a Shakespeare scholar or maybe even both. Obviously a Taylor fan. I love Taylor. You're walking through the woods and out of the corner of your eye, you see him. A mysterious man walking through the forest. What's that you see? He's got wares on him. He's got items for sale. New items, pleasurable items. He reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a new experience for you. I'm here to tell you about the magic that Lilo has just bestowed upon us. Made from the finest silicone that life has to offer. The new Soraya anal beads from Lilo are here for you. Look at its craftsmanship. Looks as powerful as the Elder Wand itself. <laughs> when casting magic on yourself, you have eight pleasure settings. Wonderful vibrations. The touch of a button. It's vibrating. Anyone with an open mind and willingness to partake in sexual adventures will love this new product. It's got three lovely nuts, so you can introduce yourself slowly. The Soraya beads deliver a one-of-a-kind experience, meant for those just dipping their toe in the anal pleasures. One of the many great things about the Soraya beads is the bow motion technology. The way in which it vibrates and moves within you is inspired by the wonderful bow of a violinist. Now that's a sound that I'd listen to any day of the week. And with over 20 years of pleasure experience, you can rest safely knowing that the people at Lilo know what they're doing. They know what the people want. They know what kind of pleasure you crave. They know all about you. Long gone are the days of shaming others for expressing themselves sexually. It's important to keep an open mind. It's important to learn more about yourself. So why not take a little dip into a new adventure with the Soraya Beads? If you'd like to learn more about Soraya and Lilo's other products, you can check the link in the description of this video. Now go! Adventure off! Discover new things about yourself! Experience orgasmic pleasure! <laughs>
Hmm. This one's tough. I'm gonna say Camp Rock. God damn it. Fuck. What category did Taylor win when Kanye was uh, when Kanye West interrupted her on MTV? It was ooh shit. It's between these two. I th think it was video of the year. God damn it. What's Taylor's lucky number? Seven. Taylor was nominated for Best New Artist in 2008 Grammys. Taylor? Amy Winehouse? Best New Artist? Amy Winehouse, in my mind, for some reason, wasn't a new artist in 2008. Where was Taylor born? Tennessee. Tennessee? Tennessee. Fuck, dude. How many Grammy Grammys did she win in 2010? Four. Ugh. What show did Taylor appear on in 2009? How I Met Your Mother? Taylor Swift named her fifth album 1989 because it's the year that she was born. It's her second favorite number. It's the year her brother was born. The year sh she was born. Yes. 1989 marked the first year of the common era of Taylor. Let's see again. It's a little much. Swift says that 1989 is her first good album. I'm going to say good album. Shit. She could be very humble and just be like, no, I, I think that this is my best work. I think uh, comparatively all of my other stuff is trash. I'm not saying- I'm saying that she could have said that! Calm down. Please don't kill me. Who is Taylor named for? Zachary Taylor, James Taylor, Elizabeth Taylor. James Taylor? <gasps> what was Taylor's number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? Her first number one. We are never getting back together. Mm -hmm. What ensemble movie marked Taylor's big screen dead but Love Actually. Is she in Love Actually? I think he's just not that into you. Shit. Taylor played Taylor Lautner's girlfriend in the film. Which, didn't they date? Didn't she and Taylor Lautner date? And now Taylor Lautner is married to another Taylor. What artist covered the entire 1989 album? I have no idea. I don't know. What does Taylor claim as her spirit animal? Fox. Yeah. I got 10 out of 30. <laughs> That's not very good. What is the first name of Taylor Swift's real childhood best friend? Oh, some of these are timed. Emma. Shit. How old was Taylor Swift when she was signed as an artist with RCA Records? 13. Got him. When she was 11, Taylor Swift sang the national anthem for which sports team? Titans. Oh, she's from Philadelphia. How about how many albums in the first week of release? Fuck, 1.3 million? What sort of crops were grown on the farm? Christmas trees. We know this from past experience. Why did Taylor Swift's performance with Stevie Nicks at the 2010 Grammys? Lip syncing. People thought she sounded out of tune. Oh, okay. What country music star's name? We know this. Tim McGraw. On, oh, just CSI. Yeah, baby. What year was Taylor Swift born? 89. Dude, I got five out of nine. That's not bad. Oh, Taylor Swift album covers. Okay, this will be interesting. Fearless. Fearless. Shit. Reputation. Taylor Swift. Reputation. Shit. Red. Red? Nice. Midnight's. Midnight's nice. Folklore. Ooh, between these two. I think it's that. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Evermore. Shit. 1989. That one. Got him. Lover. Nice. Speak now. Nice. Seven out of ten. That's not so bad. Can you guess the Taylor Swift music video from a single frame? Yes, I can. You need to calm down. Fuck. Our song. The Slamming Screen Door. Yes! Ooh, I knew you were trouble. Look what you made me do. Ready for it? Bad blood. End game. Look what you made me do. Shit. New Romantics? Is this a TV screen? Yep, it's a webcam kind of thing. It's not our song. Could it be our song? Paper Rings. It's gotta be Shake It Off, right? How is it not? Blank space. She's in a vault. Look what you made me do? Yes, because robbing a bank. Evermore. There's cardigan. The man bejeweled. The man. Lavender Haze. Bejeweled. Karma. Anti-hero. I'm gonna say bejeweled because of the jewels. Shit. I got four out of twelve. I'm an aspiring Swifty though. Second to last quiz. Is this a Taylor Swift lyric or a line from a horror movie? Karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me. Taylor. The skeletons in both our closets plotted hard to fuck this up. Horror. 
Fuck. I'm your friend to the end. Horror movie? Got him. You've got demons, and darling, they all look like me. Taylor. Do you have to open graves to find girls to fall in love with? Horror movie? Ah. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Taylor. Light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. Horror movie? Yeah. We all go a little mad sometimes. Horror movie? Nice. Now I wake up in the night and watch you breathe. I hope it's a horror movie. Ooh. Follow me home if you dare to. Taylor. I ate his liver with some fava beans. <laughs> That's shanty. Oh man, it's Taylor. Uh, 11 out of 14. Not bad. Who sang it? Taylor Swift or a Disney princess? When the raindrops come tumbling, remember you're the one who can fill the world with sunshine. Disney. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far I can't go back to where I used to be. Oh wait. I can't go back to where I used to be. This last line is ringing a bell. I think it's Disney. Okay, right to where I used to be. Now I'm in a whole new world. Long live the walls we crashed through. All the kingdom lights shine just for me and you. Taylor? Nice. But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. But now he's dear. So I didn't see it. He was mean and so good. But now he's dear. This is... Beauty and the Beast, I think. But can you feel his magic in the air? It must have been the way you kissed me. I don't know when I saw you sitting there. Disney? Oh, <gasps> Taylor. Don't you see the starlight, starlight? Don't you dream impossible things, Taylor? All I think about is how to make you think of me and everything that we could be. All I think about is how you make... How? Is how to make you think of me and everything that we could be. Taylor? Nice. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you. The gleam in your eyes is so familiar, gleam. Disney. This love is good. This love is bad. This love is alive. Back from the dead. Taylor. And the world has somehow shifted. All at once. It's Taylor Swifted. Shit. What did I get? 8 out of 10. 80%. I passed. I have passed the test. And I now would like to be welcomed into the community of Swifties. I think that I've deserved it. I think that I did it. I took all the quizzes. I got every question right. Not a single fact went past this skull of mine. Taylor, if you're watching, thank you. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like. Taylor would love to see you at the premiere, by the way. I know you're probably uh, a little busy with Trav. Trav can come too. I'll expect, you know, a text from you or something. Looking forward to seeing you there, Taylor. Learned a lot about Taylor Swift today. Many facts that I didn't know. She grew up in Pennsylvania. Grew up on a Christmas tree farm. Tim McGraw. Loves, loves Tim. Big Tim fan. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching. And I know that I've been shoving it in your face a lot, but we worked really hard on it. I'd love to see you at the premiere for the documentary. And if you can't make it to the LA premiere, see you online the next day. So just go to I have to do this dot show, get tickets. See you later. Do Swifties have a like a handshaker, a call? <laughs> Let me know. I'll do it next time. All right, bye.